so let me not be coy anymore. This is Haiti. In Haiti, 8,000 Haitians have died from cholera. 600,000 have been sickened. And it's traceable to a battalion of UN peacekeepers who arrived in the country after the after the uh, 2010 earthquake. The cholera got established from their base. Now listen to me carefully. And as you know. Cholera comes from uh, contaminated, uh, unsanitary water. So this battalion was, was based near a uh, tributary that fed into a main source of drinking water for most Haitians or into this river. That's what happened. And when I say... You know, look, we're talking about feces. That's what, in essence, human waste. Not one single case of cholera had been recorded in Haiti in more than 150 years. As poor as Haiti was, not a single case of cholera in 150 years. Didn't they raise billions of dollars? After, wh where's that money? Wh where are the nations that came to Haiti in 2010 after that earthquake? Where are all the governments who pledged all this support? Now, let me, let me tell you something and make this very clear. This is what I mean by undervalue, underestimated, and marginalized. If this were a city in the United States and 8,000 people died from cholera, if this were a city in the United States and 600,000 people were sickened because of cholera, it would be a national disaster that would, we would, the response would be immediate. And I venture to say, most of us, including yours truly, have just heard about this. Now, let me also point out something. This was, in the, this was the lead editorial in the Washington Post. Nobody on TV said a damn thing about it. Not one of these smart-ass commentators said a thing. Nobody. Glenn Beck. Hey, excuse me, the president. Hello? The ambassador to the United Nations. Hello? George Bush. Hey, hey, Bill Clinton. Nobody. And if they said something, it sure didn't get reported. 8,000 people? 600,000 sickened? Thou hundreds more will die? You need to put Haitians to work? But, but let, me, let, me, let me say something else. I heard the president of Haiti speak in Orlando, Florida at the NAACP convention. And do you know he didn't say a word about this? Oh, come and visit Haiti. That's what he said. Oh, come, please come and visit Haiti. He did not say a word. He spoke for an hour and said nothing. Not a word. Therefore, and no one at the NACP said anything. I venture to say that, a, that the people who were in that auditorium and there were a few thousand delegates from all over the country, I venture to say, didn't know a thing about it. Undervalued, underestimated, and marginalized. Hey, if this was Nepal, 
if this was France, if this were England, if this were Germany, if this were Ireland, if this, if this were Italy, if this were Kansas, if this were California, are you kidding me? Now, the question is, why isn't the United Nations, and the United Nations won't take responsibility. And all I'm saying is, somewhere in somebody's bank, there's millions of dollars, and I would think that the, the world could get together and help build a, a water treatment plant so that these folks won't die. Or maybe, maybe, hey, I'm stretching it, maybe they just want them to die.